Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation. It's day nine of the shutdown with no end in sight. There were long lines this week outside Smithsonian Museum locations, all 19 of which are likely to close January 2nd. Some 420,000 federal employees worked this week and will not receive pay for their time until the shutdown ends, while another 380,000 stayed home with no guarantee of back pay. Joining us now from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, is Republican Senator Richard Shelby. He's one of the most powerful groups in Congress. He runs the Appropriations Committee. Senator Shelby and his fellow members control government spending. Senator, welcome to Face the Nation. Thank you. Sir, 47 percent of Americans blame the president for the shutdown. 33 percent blame Democrats, according to the latest Reuters poll. Where do negotiations stand? Our negotiations are at an impasse at the moment. I wish it were not so. Uh, but we've got to move away from the blame game, uh, the blaming the president, blaming the Democrats, uh, Pelosi and Schumer and others, and get back to doing what we're sent there to do, to fund the government. That's been my mandate. That's what we've been working hard this year in a bipartisan way on the Appropriations Committee. Senator Leahy, uh, the senator from Vermont, is the ranking a Democrat on the committee. I believe if we, people would help us along, we'd do what we did with the 75 percent that we funded to the government, fund it all, the sooner the better. Have you spoken with the president or the White House since the shutdown began last Saturday? I, I uh, had uh, uh, lunch with the president and the vice president last Saturday, and um, we talked at length about it, uh, how to bring it to a close, how to fund the government, and the president made some proposals through the vice president. I made some proposals to Senator Schumer uh, uh, the night before, but right now uh, we're at a standoff, and I think that's not good for the Senate, the House or America. We can do better, and we've got to figure out a way, Margaret, to get to yes. Uh, if we blame each other, this could last a long, long time. Why is the Democrats' offer to continue current levels of $1.3 in border security, why is that not enough? Well, the president uh, wants more. He's, uh, I tried to work a deal uh, earlier on where he would get two and a half a billion this year and two and a half next year, try to have a compromise. That didn't work out. I do believe that the president would like to work to yes. Uh, I think Senator Schumer, who I've worked with for years, uh, would like to fund the government. It's a question, when do we get off the blame game and we get to serious negotiations? At the end of the day, all of this will end, we don't know when, in negotiations. Uh, it's not a question of who wins or loses. Nobody's going to win this kind of game. Nobody wins in a shutdown. Uh, we all lose, and we kind of look silly. The president uh, set off some tweets this weekend, uh, specifically blaming Democrats for the deaths of children or others at the border. He said they're strictly the fault of the Democrats. Do you agree with the president? And what does language like that do to the negotiation you say you're trying to get going? Well, whether it's the president uh, uh, tweeting and uh, blaming somebody or blaming the Democrats or whether it's the Democrats blaming the president uh, it's brought us to the impasse that we are today. Uh, I found out long ago working in the Senate on the Appropriations Committee that we've got to find out what do the Democrats really want here, when do they want it, and can we work with them to at least meet them halfway. I believe the president does not want a shutdown. Uh, I think we, he wants to secure the borders, which he should and we should help him do that. But there are a lot of ways to do it. Uh, sometimes names uh, get in the way of good work. Do I understand you saying there that you disagree with the president, that Democrats aren't to blame for the deaths of these children? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. Who I is to blame? I said that uh, the blame game, I didn't say, ma'am. I just said that if we're going to blame each other, Democrats are going to blame Trump for this, and Trump's going to blame the Democrats for this, we're getting nowhere. What we're trying to do is try to work to yes, to fund the government, to do our job, to get on to bigger things. House Democrats take control uh, January 3rd, this Thursday. 
they say they're going to reopen the government or try to do so. Will Senate Republicans send any kind of bill to the president's desk that uh, does not include border wall funding? Uh, I think Senator McConnell, our leader, has already uh, addressed that, that said that he would not even take up the bill uh, until he found some compromise that the president would agree to sign. So we're going to be at an impasse. That would be probably an empty gesture, but that goes on in Washington every day. The outgoing chief of staff, John Kelly, uh, recently gave an interview to the L.A. Times. Uh, he said a number of things, including that it's not a border wall that the president's asking for. But he also said that if you actually want to stop illegal immigration, you need to stop U.S. demand for drugs and expand economic opportunity in Central America. That seems to contradict what the president said he might do, which is cut off aid to some of those impoverished countries that migrants are coming from. Do you agree with the president? Would Congress even consider cutting off this kind of aid as he's threatening to do? Well, I don't know yet. Uh, I, the president uh, speaks for himself, and he does speak uh, uh, for a lot of the nation because he is the president. But my goal is to secure the borders. Uh, we have, uh, we, we're one of the great nations of the world that don't secure the borders. Uh, Democrats and Republicans have worked together toward that end before. And it's going to take us working together to get it done. And that's what I want to do as chairman of the Appropriations Committee, to reach out to the Democrats, get the president on board, get the Democrats on board, and let's move on and quit fighting and quit blaming each other. But do you see room for giving Democrats something they're asking for, and that in the past the president has said he supported, which is an offer that would include something like protections for so-called dreamers? I think that uh, uh, that probably will be discussed and other things, too. I think to work an agreement in politics after uh, January the 3rd, when the Democrats take control of the House, the political equation will change. Uh, you'll have a Democratic House, a Republican president, and a Republican Senate. So we're going to have to negotiate. I think that uh, we ought to see what do the Democrats really want, can we do it, and can we reach there, and we've got to show them what we want is to secure the borders. Sir, I know you spent a, a long time on the banking committee, uh, and, and so I want to ask you, because uh, this government shutdown is weighing on the financial markets, along with some unusual comments from the Treasury Secretary uh, about uh, the health of the credit markets. Uh, you also had the president publicly criticizing uh, the chairman of the Federal Reserve. Can you reassure Wall Street when it opens tomorrow that there's not a reason to be concerned? Well, we're all concerned about the economy. The economy has been very good. Uh, it's, it's, it's probably the best economy I've seen in years and years, if not in my lifetime. But uh, the Federal Reserve is the backbone, uh, is the bedrock of our financial system. It's set up to be independent. I don't believe blaming the Federal Reserve for this or that, whoever the president or a congressman or a senator is, uh, helps matters. Uh, the president cannot fire the uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve, uh, except for cause. I think uh, Chairman Powell, myself, is doing a good job. All right. Senator Shelby, thank you for joining us. And we, you've got some work cut out for you. Thank you.